Hey, this is Derek from Army of Evil Robots. I've just switched my CNC control software to... That's right, folks. I'm now using Axis from EMC on Linux. There's now no more closed source software anywhere in my machining tree. So, what did I get for EMC? Well, I got better repeatability, and I got way higher speed. I used to be challenged to get more than about 8 inches per minute. Uh, rapid rate repeatability out of my CNC machine. It would always drop a few steps or an interrupt would happen and some stuff would go wrong. Uh, this was two problems. Uh, the first was that the Windows software, which shall remain unnamed, that I was using was just a little bit too slow. It had some bugs in its drivers. It's not a criticism of the software. There's only so much you can do on Windows. Uh, EMC uses the real-time Linux kernel, uh, which just has way better latency. Uh, also, uh, it seems to be a better G-code parser. Um, the other thing that was the problem was I was using a laptop which had system management mode. Uh, system management mode is the part of the software that kicks in to run fans or turn up and down the processor speed uh, to deal with thermal effects, among other things. And one of the big problems with that is that the software that they write is not efficient. It's not unusual to have a two or three millisecond pause in your CNC run. When you're saying 10,000 steps a second of your CNC steppers, uh, that translates into a crash. So now that I'm not using my laptop anymore, I've got an ancient old Athlon XP1700, uh, which has a maximum latency of uh, 8,000 nanoseconds, which is a hell of a lot better. Uh, I'm not getting drop steps anymore. So I'm going to uh, show you a quick run on this little test part where I'm shooting the EMC2 Axis demo. Um, I got uh, some pretty good speeds out of this thing. So here we go, I'm going to show you. Start. Here. Now this may not look very fast right now, that was a 27-ish per minute move. It's uh, a little better than three times as fast as I was getting before. And when we go up close, imagine you're cutting a uh, circuit board with that, that's really hammering. This is about the 20th pass I've done on this particular milling job, so the feasibility is really good. You can see a little bit of scarring around the uh, part because of heat. Cutting uh, this, um, cutting this acrylic, it actually heats the bit up so much that it colors the plastic around it. It's I'm going to have to get a much higher speed cutting it, I see. Another cool thing about the EMC software is it's hard to see what's actually going on underneath. Live preview. That's just awesome. It does a really good preview of your cutting area, uh, all your dimensions, and of course, live positioning of where the head is at any given time. You'll note I haven't hooked up the second printer port yet. I do not have PID feedback on the head yet. But soon I'll get a new spindle and we'll have that. This is all currently being cut on a stock Sherline spindle. Uh, I think I'm getting around 5,000 RPM maximum speed out of this thing right now. Uh, I'd like to do better. There's quite a few people on eBay selling better spindles, and I'm going to try one of those. Uh, I'd also like to note that my steppers are horrible. They're, uh, they're really slow, and they're really low torque. I'm only getting about 100 ounce inches out of this, so I'm going to switch to a 300 ounce inch set of steppers. Uh, my only concern is that I'm only running teeny tiny little teeny. Can you see them in there? Move this out of the way now. Tiny one millimeter pitch ball screws. There it is. 
really small, really, really accurate, but uh, not so rigid. I'm worried I'm going to get flexed if I start trying to drive them too fast or drive too much uh, stress on them. Uh, yeah. Hey, there's a better view. There's my ball screw. One millimeter pitch. One millimeter pitch. Metric. It's a fantastic little machine, though. I'm quite happy with it. Bought off a friend of mine, Andre, when he moved to Edmonton. And uh, yeah, he did a really good job on the conversion. Terribly accurate. Anyway, that's all I got. So, um, yeah, Derek from Army People Robots, signing out.